Ben Rennick was one of the country's preeminent snake breeders. This girl, very tame. Rennick appeared at reptile shows selling his snakes to enthusiasts all over the country. That ended in June of 2017 when he was found dead at his breeding facility. I thought he'd been attacked by a snake um, because his, his skull was crushed. Um, but he was standing exactly where he always stood, right there in the facility. Sam Rennick is Ben's brother. He got the panicked call that night from Ben's wife, Lynn Lee. It wasn't until well after the police arrived and that I was told that he was actually murdered by a, by a gun, by a weapon, and I, I didn't. I found that very hard to believe. I couldn't wrap my mind around it. Nobody would ever want to hurt Ben. According to police, Ben was the victim of multiple gunshot wounds, with one being a contact wound to the head. Nothing was stolen, and based on where his body was found, investigators seemed to be convinced of one thing, that the killer was known to Rennick. But Ben's murder went unsolved for more than two years, until a break. Identified only as BB in the police report, he broke the case wide open with information leading to the arrest of Ben's wife, Lynn Lee Rennick, and her ex-boyfriend, Michael Humphrey. The two are charged with first-degree murder in the death of Ben Rennick. According to the probable cause affidavit, BB told police he was having an affair with Lynn Lee while she was married to Ben. They continued to see each other after Ben died, even fathering a child with her. According to BB, Lynn Lee told him she feared Ben would divorce her over the money problems with the spa. So, with the help of ex-boyfriend Michael Humphrey, she planned to shoot Ben after a previous poisoning attempt failed to kill him. BB told police that Lynn Lee and Humphrey went to the snake farm. Lynn Lee told Ben that Humphrey was an old friend who wanted to see the snakes. After a tour, they returned to the car to retrieve a gun. BB told police Lynn Lee walked in with the gun and shot Ben multiple times. Lynn Lee and Humphrey then returned to Lynn Lee's spa business where Lynn Lee took off her clothes and took a shower, giving the clothes to Humphrey to dispose of with the gun and shell casings. It was a huge relief. We, we were happy to finally get some answers. However, of course, they were ugly. You know, hearing that, he, that she attempted to poison him, all of that was new news to us. Finding out that she was having an affair was something we were completely taken. We were shocked. We couldn't have imagined that. That's not the Lindley we knew. Unbelievable story. Joining us now in Columbia, Missouri, investigative reporter for ABC 17 News, Lucas Geisler. Lucas, uh, great to see you again. Um, let's start here. Ben Rennick, this world-renowned reptile slash snake breeder. What was going on in his life? Like, financially, where was he? And what was going on with his marriage at the time of his murder? Vinny, it's a good question because it is a big part of the motive that the Highway Patrol believes exists here. So. Ben Rennick, as the piece mentioned, um, is beloved really across the country as a sort of designer reptile breeder, uh, ball pythons and anacondas. And in early 2017, he was set to pretty much seem like get out of the business or at least sell his assets and had a million dollar deal in place in early 2017 with NHL goalie uh, Robin Liner, um, was going to sell all of these assets off, had actually taken part of the payment um, when uh, he was shot and killed at his farm in June of 2017. So as the Highway Patrol sort of, uh, their theory here is that Ben was going to have all of this money and in turn going to try to separate from Lindley. And that was sort of Lindley's fear was that he would be able to separate from her and take the kids with him considering he would have, um, he'd have a lot of money, he'd have a lot of resources at his disposal. So that's where he was at. Um, it, it, at this point here. Obviously, as was brought up, one of the main witnesses in this case, B.B. Lindley's having an affair with Ben uh, at the same time uh, during, during all of this, during the, their, sort of the end of their marriage there uh, in the mid-2010s. Uh, mid so obviously a lot going on there as far as his financial situation. And again, it's going to be a big part of the motive that the Ohio Patrol thinks that Lindley has in killing Ben. Did, do we know if Ben knew 
what what Lin Lee was up to? Like, was was it that like you know he knew that she was fooling around, he suspected it, or was it that they were just not getting along? It's unclear, Vinny, if if Ben knew of any sort of anything going on with that. I believe Sam Rennick shares in that uh, in that interview with Court TV that he was surprised to hear about a lot of this stuff. So whether or not Ben knew about that, uh, we don't know. But obviously there were there seemed to be some um, there seemed to be some fear on Lindley's part that uh, that maybe there this marriage and this relationship was uh, that there was a threat to it that something was wrong with it. She obviously brought up in that statement as well her own money problems. She ran a spa in Colombia that uh, had run into a lot of financial issues, thousands of dollars in unpaid bills there, thousands of dollars in uh, credit card debt as well. And it was something that, according to her in the, the highway patrol, was that she was sucking money out of the business and that um, that obviously she's having some financial problems of her own there. So obviously she, if you believe the highway patrol, she had some sort of fear that this relationship was maybe in a rocky situation. It's an incredible story. It'll be an incredible trial. Uh, Lucas, guys, are always great to have you in the program. Investigative reporter, ABC 17 News in Missouri. Hopefully we'll speak again. Thanks so much. Vinny, thank you. All right, when we come back, folks, we're going to take you back in. Oh, here we go. We've got a criminal setting coming up. Yeah, June 14th. So on the 14th of June, uh, we should get a trial date, and uh, we'll see. Could happen this year. Could be later in the summer. Could be in the fall. We'll see what happens on the 14th.